much shit as possible. Yeah. 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 Doug Stoley, and I'm uh, creating sounds and soundscapes for the Seasick Mama musical project at the House of Creators, 2011. I think that the things that Mark and Seasick and myself have been creating work well because we're all at a place where our visions are pretty pure uh, and they're not necessarily dependent upon one another. So uh, when you get three creative people that are very confident in their output, and then you mix those together with nobody you know, holding back or operating from a place of fear in any way. Uh, you just achieve awesomeness and you achieve it with less pieces because a confident creator doesn't need to make 10 things. He needs to make one perfect thing for that moment. And so instead of getting 30 things fighting each other, we get three awesome things happening at the same time that complement one another. I got into music as a kid, very young, before I could even remember, I love music, I think most kids do, but I think as I got older, music seemed to me the, the best place uh, for somebody who just knew that they were creative to the point where like, you know, I want to like be weird and different and express myself and wear goofball clothes and do extreme things and see what happens and music just seemed to apply more of a reason to it, I guess. I didn't have the balls to just be weird for the sake of being weird. But uh, I could be weird if, you know, it was because I was in a band. So I think I just used it as a vehicle to encourage my weirdness. And uh, now my weirdness needs no encouragement. It flows freely. I see a wild uh, abandon. Uh, it's uh, as if she's uh, taken this small hole that used to be her creative chute and has taken her time here to widen that hole and, and claw that hole until the creative stream is a torrent of fucking amazing awesomeness that couldn't fit through the hole before, but now has forced its way through into this world in a mighty, mighty way. If you're gonna take it on the road, this house of creatives, you better watch out for cops. And some may, from the outside, may see it as a throwback to the old, uh, hippie days or the commune days or the Jack Kerouac days but I don't think that you can really uh, say that because that would be like removing the context of you know, modern society. I think now is like the perfect time. We can um, enact on the ideals of a time when uh, when creative uh, people were taking a stand against the way things were structured uh, and we can also broadcast that stand through uh, electronics and embody it and communicate it through creation and through artistic endeavors and uh, hopefully it will achieve a much broader uh, platform than it would have been able to if it were in any other time. Circle. We came here in the summer, swimming in the lake. Now it's. Oh, that's good. 